Hey guys, Arzival VR here, and today I wanted to talk about traveling with your VR headset. So the cool thing about standalone VR headsets is being able to take them on the go without needing a PC. And so I took my Quest Pro, which by the way, this entire thing was almost the size of my whole personal item bag, and took it 5,000 miles with me. Here's how that went. The Quest Pro is a good way to get some virtual monitors if you want to do some work while waiting for your flight. I could see this being the case for someone who travels for work a lot and has to work on the go, but for me, I was going on vacation, so as much as I love the headset, there was absolutely no way I was going to do any type of work. I stopped right after filming this. It's also worth noting that when I was shooting this, I was inside a lounge in a relatively quiet corner with very little foot traffic, and so I felt comfortable putting the headset on. Um, if I was out at the terminals where everyone was, I honestly don't think I would have put the headset on. Uh, the mixed reality capabilities of the Pro, I think, really came in handy on the plane ride itself. So I was on a 10 hour flight without Wi-Fi, and so I was desperate for some form of entertainment that wasn't, you know, movies on the little screen that I have in front of me. Obviously I wasn't gonna get up and play Resident Evil. <laughs> so I booted up Cubism so I could at least stay in my seat and still be able to use the color pass-through. Um, hand tracking was spotty and low light as expected, and again, full transparency, I had a window seat, and the person next to me in the middle seat was someone I was traveling with, so we were very much okay with my arms and hands moving around as I was, you know, playing cubism. Definitely would not have done that if I was sitting next to a stranger, because can you imagine if you were sitting in the middle seat and this weirdo next to you is wearing a headset over his face and just started reaching and like grabbing the air and oh, that would have been horrifying for them. So the Quest Pro was helpful in killing some time on the plane. So now I was on vacation for a week and you know I didn't really want to use the headset that much because I wanted to just of course enjoy the vacation in real life. But I did set aside about 30 minutes to kind of explore the mixed reality features of the Quest Pro with my surroundings on vacation. And so I used the color pass-through to kind of record a, um, a room tour. Um, the pass-through quality was just okay. I try to be objective and objectively I think, you know, the color pass-through quality was just okay. You can see there was a lot of distortion going on, um, especially for this part of the video. But my favorite part about bringing my Quest Pro headset on vacation was probably using painting VR with the color pass-through to kind of do like this like live virtual painting where I'm like looking out into the ocean in real life, but I have this virtual canvas in front of me. And I think it's a really fun and unique way to commemorate a vacation, you know, in addition to taking pictures and videos. It was pretty nice to be able to go into the headset and, you know, do this basic but sentimental job of kind of commemorating the moment. <laughs> Is that even a thing, commemorating moment? So now I have this painting that I can say I made virtually and can look back on in addition to the hundreds of photos and videos that I took. But of course, most importantly, um, thousands of memories that I have in my head and my heart. <laughs> So yeah, would I do it again? I think so, again given that I have space, but if not, that's not something that I need when going on vacation. There you have it. If you got something out of this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and join our community of XR enthusiasts so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. There you have it. If you got something out of this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and join our community of XR enthusiasts so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> bye.